All right, let's talk about the Interrail NT404C carbon fiber tripod. All right, YouTube photography fans, let's take a look at this Interrail NT404C carbon fiber tripod. It comes with two different kinds of heads. You can put a standard head on it or you can use this leveling ball. And the main reason I got this was for this, you know, leveling ball or bowl, it's called leveling bowl. There's a bowl here. And this semi-spherical part up here drops down into that bowl. And you can move it around and get it level. And I thought this was going to be great. I'm going to just very slightly snug this to where I can move that. And the problem that I'm finding with this is that there's a lot of sticking and starting and uh, sticky friction between the bowl and the cone or the ball. You can see it's got segments there. Hopefully you can see that. And I lubricated that with some bow shield lubricant. And when you try to, when you get that level or you're trying to get it level, you just barely slightly snug this and you're trying to move that thing around, it grabs and it sticks. You'll pull and it'll stop and then you'll have to yank and then it'll jerk. It may not be terribly evident on the video, but I can feel that. I just barely snug that and now I'm trying to move it. You can see I move it here and then it stops and I have to shove and then it breaks free. And then from this position, I have to yank to break it free. It's all, it's like it's got high spots and low spots all over the place. Um, it's not smooth as silk, like a ball in a ball head. And it really annoys me because I was hoping I could just barely snug it just like that and then move it exactly into position and then put the final tighten on it. Well, you can't do that. Um, you have to really use, you know, two hands to try to get, there's a bubble under here. That thing's got a bubble. And trying to get that bubble centered while moving this around. Look there, it's stuck. I'm yanking hard and all of a sudden it pulls free. Maybe you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But it's got high spots, low spots, grabby points points where it's loose like this, I can move it a little, but if I move it to here, now I can't pull it any further without yanking on it. It's real grabby and sticky. I'm putting a lot of force on it here, pulling this way to try to get it to move, and there it, it jerks. So it, it's not smooth at all. You can do it, and you can get it level, ultimately, but it's a pain in the ass, and I don't like it. And this company, Interrel, and I think there's another company called Artsice. People have said they're the same tripod. And I don't know if all their leveling bowls do this or not, but this one does. And I don't fancy it at all. Now, here's the regular base plate that comes with it. And it's got a bubble, so you could, you know, level this with the legs like you normally would do. And this base plate's actually pretty nice. It's actually indexed uh, so that it can't spin. That thing's indexed. And it's also got these set screws so that when you put your head on there, you can come, once you screw that all the way on there, you can come from underneath and tighten up those set screws against this mating surface here. So this won't move. So this part's great. I don't have any problem with this. And it's got a nice, big, sturdy metal hook under here. I'm not showing it because I don't want to take the camera off the tripod, but there's a good hard metal hook here. Very stout hook if you want to hang a weight there. So this part's great. No problem at all. And if you don't want to use a, the leveling bowl, you can actually buy this tripod without the leveling bowl. Just like this and then level it by adjusting the legs till you get the bubble. 
but I didn't want to do that. I wanted that leveling bowl to work. And I don't like it. So if you buy this, you could just get a separate leveling base and get the regular tripod with the regular base plate here. Opt out of that leveling bowl because you don't have to buy it. And it's a little cheaper without it. You might want to think about that. Hopefully you can see there's a notch right here. And that notch engages this uh, cylindrical standoff. And when you put that in there, that's not going to spin because that's indexed. So that's pretty good. I like that part. So here's a view of the bowl by itself. And I lube that up with some nice bow shield lubricant. And there's the mating surface. Some people might call that a cone or a ball. You can see it's got individual segments that bear on this mating surface. It's not a solid. And apparently this curve and this curve aren't perfectly matched. You know, I might could put some valve grinding compound in there and, you know, lap that thing like, you know, you lap a valve in a combustion engine maybe try to get that smoother. But from the factory, this, this radius of curvature is not perfectly mated to this radius of curvature in here. It's pretty obvious that this thing is cast. It hasn't been machined. And I don't know, I don't, I think I see machining surfaces in here, machining marks, excuse me. This, this has been machined. You can see the, the marks from the cutter head, but this is just cast. And they didn't do any kind of machining to make this perfectly mate to this. So that's why that thing is rough. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or send it back, but I really don't like the way that that moves in there because that is not a smooth bearing surface at all. All right, there's my valve grinding compound. I haven't opened this tin up since 1976. I put it in there, I'm gonna give it a whirl and see what happens. Okay, so I took my valve grinding compound and I smeared it all around this surface of the cone. And then I put that back down in there. Tighten that up a little bit. So that I could work it like that with the valve grinding compound and then I'd rotate the disc a bit and grind it some more and rotate the disc a bit and grind it some more I did that repeatedly over and over to lap that joint and get a nice smooth um, joint then I cleaned all the gr valve grinding compound out and if you do this you need to get that valve grinding compound out of there so I cleaned all of that out then I came back and put some Lubrafilm silicone lubricant on here to lubricate the interface between the cup and the cone. And now this thing is smooth as silk. It works beautifully now. I can just slightly snug it. I can move it and get it right into position and get it perfect. Now, let me make something clear about previously in the video, I was showing this head I don't want to mislead you. This this is an Acrotec head. This doesn't come with this tripod. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, that's a separate item. It doesn't come with the tripod. The tripod comes with the leveling bowl or the base plate that I showed before. This is not part of the tripod. That's a 500, almost $500 head that I bought separately to go with these legs. So straight out of the factory, it's a horrible and if you want it to work out of the factory, don't buy it. But uh, if you don't mind working it, if you're a mechanic and you know what valve grinding compound is and you've used it before, you can lap that in and get a really butter smooth action on this thing. Uh, alternatively, you can just buy a set of legs without <clears throat> the bowl level and just put a leveling base on there. But 
I wanted this and it didn't work, but now it does.